Hey Cats fans, it's Ben Reeve here from The Hoop Show. Now this is a, an episode where I'm going to talk about the all-time, well not all-time, but our premiership era. I'm talking about 2007 to this year just completed 2022 we've won all their premierships and i'm gonna pick the best team from those grand finals or from that era okay now this is a really tough one so i uh, i struggle with this one a bit i'm gonna pick the best team and then i'm gonna pick our reserves team that maybe didn't quite make it um but yeah really really tough one here uh, a bit of a mix of players from uh the, the recent crop of premiership players and some some of the ones from the the three premierships between 2007 and 2011. So I imagine there'll be some very, very interesting comments in the chat about this and some... Uh, I, I welcome it. Bring it on because uh, we're going to disagree on this one. Um, but let's start with the senior squad, the best team from the 2007 to 2022 era. I have gone with my back line of... This is probably... I'm going to start with a big one. Uh, Sam DeConning is on the list. Um yeah, he probably hasn't got the enough uh, enough games under his belt yet, probably to warrant it. But uh, I, I'm projecting him to be an absolute all timer at the Cats. Uh, so I've got him there. Um, didn't do it. Didn't do anything wrong last year. He's close to all Australian. Uh, I've I've put him there on, on, on the, in the back line next to uh, the man, uh, the legend, Tom, uh, Matthew Scarlett. Uh, he's got to be there as a fullback, surely. Um, and next to Matty Scarlett, uh, Tom Stewart. So yeah, got those three. Uh, you can't go wrong with a with a with a fullback line like that, can you? Uh, not many not many goals going to be conceded uh, with those three uh, on on the fullback line. Now our halfback line. Uh, don't think you'll disagree with Corey Enright being selected for that one. Another all time Geelong Cat player. Uh, I've got next to him Harry Taylor as the centre half back. Uh, you might not agree with that, maybe I don't know. Um, and Mitch Duncan, I've thrown him in there as well. Uh, maybe you won't agree with that one. So he did play in both eras, in the uh, 2011 and in the 2022 Grand Final. So um, yeah, squeezed Mitch Duncan in there. Uh, let me know what you think about that one. Now the centre line, we've got. Uh, another current day player, Mark Blitzarves. I've thrown him in there on a wing. I love what he does on the wing. Next to him, uh, Jimmy Bartell. You're not going to argue with me there. Three-time premiership player, Brownlow medalist, uh, Norm Smith medalist. What can you say? Joel Corey. You've got to get Joel Corey in there, don't we? I think Joel Joel Corey, another three-time premiership player. You've got to squeeze him in as well. Uh, now, half forward line, I've got Stevie Johnson. Uh, yeah, probably no arguments there. Uh, our uh, centre half forward Jeremy Cameron, uh, uh, what is he? Uh, you know, won the goal kicking award. He's he's done everything all Australian, so you can't really. Yeah, he's been in a grand final as well before this one. So um, Jeremy Cameron, and next to him on the other half forward flank, we've got Paddy Dangerfield. Uh, you might want to throw Paddy in the middle, maybe, but um, I've got him there probably more because he gets thrown forward a fair bit. So uh, I've put him there. And now full forward line, I've got uh, Chappie, uh, Paul Chapman, uh, and uh, Tom Hawkins as our big full forward. Uh, you know, maybe you would have had, I don't know, you're not going to go Cam Rooney over Tom Hawkins, I wouldn't have thought. But uh, yeah, Tom Hawkins. Matty Stokes, I've, I've got in there as well. You might not agree with that one. Two premierships for Matty Stokes. Didn't play in the 09 premiership, uh, but was there in 2007 and 2011. Uh, so yeah, Matty Stokes. Love the bloke. Uh, was on our show, uh, on our Behind the Play show episode uh, a while back last year. So check that one out if you haven't already. Now, in our followers, we've got Brad Alton's as the ruck. Uh, I think he's probably been our best ruckman over the years. Uh, Gary Ablett Jr. somehow squeezed him in. <laughs> Clearly he was going, always going to be there. Uh, and Joel Selwood I've got there as well. Now, Joel I've given uh, the captaincy to. I think there's probably not much argument there. Uh, Joel was our captain. Uh, we've had Cameron Ling and, and uh, Tom Harley over the years as well. Uh, but I'm giving it to Joel, uh, absolute champ, uh, best captain we've ever had in the history of the AFL. Uh, on our interchange bench, here we go. Uh, I've got Cam Guthrie uh, lining up next to James Kelly, three-time premiership player. David Wojcinski, what do you think about that one? David Wojcinski, does he make the uh, the best team of our premiership era? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I've got him there anyway. And I had to get Cameron Ling in there. Cameron was in and out a little bit when I was putting this list together, uh, but I've got him in there. Who I who I had as a medical sub. Now, I don't know when we're dropping the medical sub now, but whatever. Uh, I've got Tom Atkins as the med sub. Again, 
another relatively recent one. Maybe you don't agree with that. Um, probably when you hear some other names that have made the second team or the reserves team, you go, well, why isn't, you know, maybe Tom, maybe someone else should have been the sub in this uh, in this senior side. So uh, the other controversy that is coming your way, Cats fans, is I have gone with Chris Scott as the coach of our uh, number one team, the senior side uh, of our premiership era, not Mark Thompson. Uh, Mark, he's been relegated to the reserves. Uh, what do you think about that? Anyway, my opinion, you know, unfortunately these teams will never play each other, so we'll never know, um, but that's what I've gone with. All right, so moving on to our second team, or our reserves team in the back line, we've gone with Darren Dasher Milburn uh, and uh, Tom Harley as the fullback and uh, Josh Hunt next to him. So some good names there. Tom Harley, a captain, and Darren Milburn <laughs> played plenty of games for the Cats, nearly 300 games. Uh, couldn't fit him into the best team, unfortunately. Though. Maybe that's just recency bias. I don't know. Uh, maybe he could have taken Sam DeConning's spot, possibly. Uh, now, half back line, we've got uh, Andrew Mackey on one of the flanks. Uh, Tom Lonigan as the centre half back, uh, you know, maybe you make a case that he's a fullback, I don't know. Um, and next to him, Jack Henry, another recent player who I think is just going to get better and better as the years go by. Uh, all right, centre line, we've got, I didn't want to get him in because of his Hawthorne connections, but Isaac Smith, I've got him there, uh, not because of what he's done with Hawthorne, but I just think uh, he's probably earned his spot in the reserve squad. Uh, Zach Tui next to him uh, through the middle. And then Shannon Burns, uh, Monty, I've got him there as well. Probably not the, a fit for him in the centre line, but you know, I've got to get him in there somewhere, don't I? Because uh, I love the bloke. Now, half forward line, I've got Travi Varco. Of course, Trav's going to be there, a two-time premiership player. Um, and I can never forget his run in 2011, uh, one of the goals, best grand final goals you'll ever see. Uh, next to him in the half forward line, in centre half forward, is Cameron Mooney. Uh, clearly could had to pick Jezza over Cameron Mooney for that spot. Um, and Max Rook next to him. We all love Max Rook, I think. Uh, so, yeah, Max Rook's there as well. Tyson Stengel, couldn't quite get him into the all-time team. One year in, I think, maybe not. Uh, James Potts Adley is the full forward. Uh, as I said, yeah, had to get uh, Tom Hawkins there, so I couldn't quite squeeze you in their best team uh, pods. Uh, Nathan Ablett makes an appearance uh, in the forward pocket there, so good on you, Nathan, uh, but didn't play that many years with the Cats. Unfortunately, I couldn't get him in, in the best team. Uh, now, our followers, our second best ruckman, probably over the era, uh, and premiership ruckman, Stephen King, played in two premierships in a week. Uh, in 2007, played the reserves and the and the senior grand final went on to play for St Kilda and we, we met him in a grand final in 2009, which was weird. Um, but uh, good on him for having a, you know, putting together another good career at another club as well. Uh, Brandon Parfit I've got there as well. And next to him, I've got Alan Bundy Christensen. Uh, so, yeah, couldn't fit those two in the best team. Uh, on our interchange bench, we've got Brian Myers, uh, Jed Buse, Zach Guthrie, and Brad Close. Now, would you have Brad in the best team? Again, probably some, you're going to have to knock out some of our three-time premiership players to get to fit him in. Are you going to knock out Chappie? I don't know. You're not going to knock Chappie out, are you, or someone like that? Um, I've got the sub. The subs are always a controversial one. Uh, I've got Gary Rowan as the sub uh, on this squad. And as I mentioned earlier, we've got Mark Thompson as the coach. So who's missed out on both teams? Uh, now these are the terribly unlucky players. Um, premiership players that couldn't quite make it uh, on either squad. I've got Reese Stanley. I love you, Reese, but um, you weren't quite as up there with Stephen King and, and, and Brad Ottens, clearly. Uh, Trent West, yeah, you won your 2011 premiership, but um, you are serviceable, but um, you moved on and, and all that. Mark Blake, the same, uh, got his premiership in 09 and uh, unfortunately missed out and didn't, didn't get picked in 07 and, and we lost in 2008 when he played as well. So he got one. Uh, look, Mark O'Connor, not quite there yet. Um, maybe if we go back to back and Mark's there, we'll, we might get him on the reserves list. If I do this list again next year, if we're lucky enough to go again. Who else? I've got Jake Kolodashny, couldn't make it as well. Sorry, Jake, couldn't fit you there, mate. But uh, again, with Mark, you win another one. Let's We'll talk. We'll talk. Uh, anyway, what did you think? Lots of controversy there. Um, th plenty of things you won't agree with, I'm sure. 
Uh, there's lots of names that couldn't make the top team. Um, I don't know. It's it's a tough one. I struggle with this one a lot. Um, but it was good fun to put it together. I've got Joel Captain as the, uh, Joel Sell oh, Joel Captain Joel Sell. What is the captain of our senior team? Did I pick a captain of the? Um, oh, I've got to go with Tom Harley, don't I? Uh, for the reserves team, Tom ha- Tom Harley can captain the reserves team. Who do you reckon would win out of those two? Oh, we, I don't know. I haven't actually thought about it line by line. I think probably the senior team would still get it done, um, but uh, names on paper and, and actual matchups and so forth, uh, they're a different thing altogether, aren't they? So, uh, And, yeah, look, clearly some players that maybe that's not their normal position that I've put them in, but uh, I've, I've got them there. Hopefully not too, uh, not too much argument about where I've slotted them in there. Anyway, let me know what you think. Please like, subscribe, and comment, all that fun stuff, uh, and check out our Patreon site as well for plenty of early release videos and so forth. Anyway, thanks for watching. As always, go Cats, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm out. Cheers.